yeah i mean i'm just trying to go in the in the natural process of the procurement cycle so how things go in in a real life operations of procurement you create a po you receive the goods and once you receive the goods then the vendor is going to send you an invoice so we have now entered the invoice in netsuite and now once the invoice is entered into netsuite the next step or the next physical steps would be to pay the vendor right so based on the right. terms based on the due date you will be paying to the vendor so let's say how right. you do that so yes. we will simply simply click on the make payment button over here and again you know there are multiple ways of doing this in netsuite so if you are not aware of this transaction you can go in transactions payables and pay a vendor bills pay single vendor you know again you will be uh, directed on the same screen so i'll just quickly show you that as well so if i go in the vendor payments page notice that if i click on my uh, pay over here which is ada And notice that the same vendor bill that I just created was automatically populated over here. So in this way, I can see all the unpaid bills for this particular ADA vendor, and I can just mark them as applied. Or you can just simply go on this vendor bill the way we did. I mean, I'm just going to click on this vendor bill. I can just click on make payment button over here. And again, this is going to take me to the same page. So there are multiple ways of doing same thing in NetSuite, you know. Um, just with different navigations. So here, okay. uh, the only the only ease that I get is I don't have to select the vendor manually. Uh, it's all already pre-populated. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now this is basically the vendor payments page, uh, and here you're going to be entering all your payment details and payment information. So mm -hmm. you will notice your pay over here. You will select your bank account. So here, this is this is an important account that you need to select, and this is going to be based on the on the bank account that you will be using for this payment purpose. So you are going to select your whatever bank account from which you are paying this uh, vendor. All right. You're going to be reviewing your currency, the date on which you are making this payment. You will select that. If this is a to be printed check, if this is a check that you are printing them, you can select to be printed and you know, you can select the check number or you can directly give any wire number or any information, you know, for this vendor uh, in the check field over here. You can select the memo. So any memo for this payment, you can also capture that information. Again, if there is any approvals on your existing vendor payments, you can select the status as pending approval, or you can just mark this as approved if uh, the scenario is. And uh, here you will notice that the vendor bill is already selected. So this is the vendor bill against which we are trying to make a payment. And uh, you will just verify the amounts if there is any discount you are getting from your vendor, you can also you know, enter that information. And once everything is validated, the AP person or the accounts person is just gonna save this. <clears throat> okay, so now this vendor payment is saved. And again, you know, this is also a GL impacting transaction. So I'm going to show you the GL impact really quickly. So your Tata bank account is now credited because, you know, we have used this account for the payment and your liability or accounts payable is now debited. So, uh, you know, in accounting terms, whenever uh, a liability is increasing, it is on the credit side. And whenever a liability is decreasing, it is always on the debit side. So since we have now paid this liability, so our liability is now decreasing. And that's why it is on the debit side. So if, if this makes sense, I mean, this is just, uh, you know, we are, we are just trying to knock off or pay our liabilities. And this is why our bank account is credited and our liability is debited. Yes. Okay. And if I, again, really quickly go back on that vendor bill, if this is my vendor bill. If I just refresh this page, you will notice that the status of this vendor bill is now paid in full. Okay. All right. So now this essentially completes the whole cycle of P2P, where you did a procurement, you made a PO, you received the goods, you received the vendor bill, and finally you paid to the vendor. And this this is where your uh, you know uh, procurement cycle got ended.